Hello everyone, Stephen Stokes with Remax Sunshine. I'm in the Southwest today, just off Surfside. I've got this gorgeous 2020 four bedroom plus a den, three bathroom home. Look at that profile. So many great things to show you. Has a beautiful pool, has a great dock area with a lift. It is golf access and look where you're living. You're living in this cul-de-sac in the Southwest. Who is this home for? For somebody that wants a absolute beautiful home with golf access, with the dock, the lift, everything included, beautiful pool, and they want the privacy, right, of living in a cul-de-sac. Just look at this street, that's Surfside up there with the spreader, just beautiful. Now the house itself has a lot of things to talk about. It has a metal roof that was installed in 2023. This whole house is solar powered. There's 45 to 48 panels that produce all the electricity for the entire home. We'll get into that later. Look at this front profile. That little patch of grass there in front of your house, that is like a putting green. I mean, it is beautiful. The house has a lot of neat features that we're going to get into, including a gas stove. So let's go together and take a look. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. And I would appreciate your comments below in the comments section. I want to know what you think of this house. So it opens up and I'm going to give you a quick view here of the main living area with the kitchen. And we're going to get back and dig through that in just a second. But first, let's spin around and look at this front entrance. And I guess while I'm here, I better close that door, right? We don't want to let all the air conditioning out, that's for sure. Let's get the door closed. Beautiful door, by the way, isn't it? Just gorgeous. Here's the office area. These are all custom built-in cabinets. Look at that. You've got the beautiful window there letting in the sun. Great place to get some work done. All interior doors are eight feet tall. All baseboards are five inches tall. So everything is interior and exterior paint with Sherman Williams. So this is a top shelf home. Back out to the main entrance area. And here we've got sliders. Very interesting. We've got some slider doors for some privacy that leads us over into our first bathroom. And there you have it guys, subway tile. Subway tile is a major theme in this home. If you like subway tile, you're going to love this home. Look at the job they did here with this tile all the way to the ceiling. Absolutely magnificent. Uh oh, there is a little problem here. I think I see a frog. Yes, there is a frog. We'll have to deal with that later. Here is your first bedroom on the front of the house. Again, two big windows letting in lots of light. This entire house is so bright and so clean. There's your view of the front. Notice the floor beneath our feet as well. So this is a beautiful tile, porcelain tile floor that runs throughout the whole house. It is not shiny. So those of you that do not like a shiny floor, this is more your speed. Notice all the closets are custom shelving. Very nice. Into the second bedroom here. Here they have two beds in here. We've got a window. Nicely decorated room. And by the way, if you're interested in this furniture, it is negotiable with the purchase of the home. This would be a great house if you wanted to do a vacation rental because it has so many features to offer. Here's a great look at that floor. And let's save the great room for just a moment and go down and take a look at the other bedrooms. So here you can get a nice profile of the two entrances to the bedrooms. We're going to go in here and this is definitely a suite. We've got a bathroom that runs off of this bedroom that is also going to be your pool bath. By the way, the entire home has a Kinetico water softener system on the home. All the fixtures are mowing. Have a look at this again, subway tile. And here they blend it with the gray tile to give it a little bit of contrast. I like that frameless glass shower door, beautiful bathroom for your guests when they're using the pool or for whoever's staying in this room right here. Let's go back out and take a look at the main living area. You can see in the kitchen, there's a lot to talk about. We'll be there in just a second. And of course, out by the pool, look at these sliders, Southern facing, Southern exposure home, lots of light going to get in there all day long. Let's go back here. Look at this Island where they put the fridge on the end of the Island. That's a great use of space. Look at the subway tile backsplash. Love that. But how about this? This deserves its own little show. Look at this gorgeous gas stove. And yes, I said gas. This home has a 500 gallon underground propane tank, and that can feed the generator that we're going to look at and the uh, water heater. And of course this cooktop. So it's definitely 
all taken care of with this home. So if you know me, you know I love subway tile. What a great use of it here for the entire backsplash. Looks so great. Just love it. Now here's something else that I've never seen before. These are solar tubes over the kitchen island. So here we have direct sunlight that comes in. It is just beautiful. It really illuminates the entire area with natural light. There's so much natural light in here. You may notice on my video that my white balance is constantly getting thrown off, but We'll take the hit on that because look at that. Two solar tubes, really cool. Here we have more subway tile in the laundry room. Love it. Full size washer dryer, lots of subway tile on the backsplashes, lots of counter space. And plus, you've got this nice storage closet as well. Let's go out and look at the garage. A lot to talk about out here, including this two-part epoxy garage floor, and we have that obscured glass, impact-resistant garage doors. Absolutely beautiful. Now over here, we have an electric vehicle charge station because, of course, we're going to have that. And again, as I mentioned earlier, this entire home is run by solar electricity. So that's awesome. Here is a nice custom built-in workstation, and notice they've got the storage coming down from the ceiling. Great job on this garage. Okay, let's go down and take a look at the main bedroom. Real excited to see this. So far, I love this house. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Wow, how about this? Main bedroom, nice and bright. We've got the glass sliders going out to the pool. Now this is interesting for a main bedroom. We have two beds. So what do we think about that? Is that a good idea? That seems to be a trend. People are seeming to like to have their own bed. Lots of space in here if you decide to do that. And here's your closet. Of course, it's all custom built in. Beautiful closet, lots of space in here. And oh, look at that. I like that belt rack. I may have to get one of those myself. For some reason, I have a lot of belts. I don't know. Let's go look at the bathroom. Wondering how this is going to play out. Ah, very nice. And I bet you down here is going to be the loo. Let's go down and see. Or as my guy says, this is the head. Here it is. I like how they keep the toilet separate from the rest with a door. I don't like those open toilets. Hey, what a linen closet this is. That's pretty spectacular. And for all you tubbers, we have a tub. And we've got this nice big open shower. Very nice. Now they did not use any subway tile in the main bathroom. They gave it a little break, but they did use some beautiful gray tile all the way to the ceiling. Here's a nice look at that tub. And the blue vanity with the double sinks. I do like the color. Very nice. Matches my shirt. Hello, everybody. Want to say hi? Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate that. Oh, and uh, also make sure you give thumbs up for the video, right? Helps with the growth of the channel. So now we've been all waiting for this. I think that this is a great house, uh, but Nothing is going to trump what I'm going to show you in just a minute. This has got a spectacular water view and a great pool area. So let's go out here and let's look at it together. These doors, they pocket all the way back. I'm not going to open them right now all the way. And you can see out here, you've got lots of area under trust to get out of the sun because you're going to have southern exposure here. So it's very early in the morning here today. This is about 9 o'clock in the morning. As the sun gets up, it's going to be really sunny back here. And you can see you've got a lot of area where you can get out of the sun back here and get some shade. How about this outdoor kitchen? Really like that. Very sleek. Nice. And of course, we've got the range hood. It's a necessity. And a clock. Got to know what time it is. It's five o'clock somewhere. Okay, look at this screen. So the pool cage here, or the bird cage as they call it, lots of clear view panels and you need them because look at that magnificent view of the canal. Again, you're in the Southwest here, beautiful canal system. Here's your pool. You've got that low profile spa, really like that. This is a saltwater pool, of course. 16 by 34 is the size of this pool. So it's a decent size. And on the other end here, you're going to see you've got that sun shelf. We'll look at that in just a second. Hey, I want to go around to the outside here and just get into the weeds a bit, so to speak. And I want to show you the hardware because this house has got, of course, a pool heater and AC, but look at this. We got that Generac generator for the home and there's your saltwater system. 
Great. And out here you have your also 500 gallon propane tank that's buried. That's going to help power all these things for you in case the power goes out. Great idea. Now here's your property line. You can see the difference in the, the deck, the decking material. You've got quite a large space out here of dock and what a back profile. Look at this. The pavers come down and they blend seamlessly with the dock. You've got a nice area here with some plants, but you've got high elevation, right? No problem here with any flooding or anything like that. You got a 10,000 pound boat lift. Let's go look at that. Look at these ropes. Just love it, right? This is just so stunning. There's your boat lift. And let's go down to the end, take a look. There is of course electricity here. And yes, we have water. I'll turn it on here. We have some water and electricity. In fact, this entire dock area has lights and at night you can light this thing up like 4th of July if you want. Here's a nice view of the canal. It's a little bit extra wide, great neighbors, peaceful, right? And look at the back profile of this home. This rear profile of this house could have its own YouTube channel. <laughs> look at that. Luxurious. Now down here, we also have another area. As we go down to the end of the property line, there's your property line division right there on the seawall. Get another good look at that. Look at that uh, agave plant there. That's big. You got a kayak uh, launch there as well as your boat lift, which is very useful. You can notice the lights there on the stairs. As I said, this whole place lights up. There he is. Look at that guy. What a beautiful plant. You got some planters here, the crushed stone. I love the way that looks. Now let's head back up. Just a few more things to show you. By the way, look at the privacy shrubs on the left here and all the lighting on the stairwell. Gotta love this house. No stone on turned, as they say. By the way, we just passed a shower there. You've got that exterior shower so you can rinse off after a day on the boat. Going back over here, you can see this nice area here. You can sit, watch a little TV if you want, stay out of the sun. Or if you want to hit the sun, you've got lots of space for that. And look at those uh, sun shelves, I call them, with the bubblers. And you've got the recliners right down in there. You can stay cool and get a tan at the same time. And again, remember this entire house, all the electricity is covered 100% by solar. That's a great, great bonus. Hey, before we go, I just want to show you these Kevlar screens that this, this house has. You can drop these down. Great for protection, privacy. Great to keep the AC in this area if you open the sliders. Awesome, right? Yeah. Just another great bonus to this beautiful house. Let me know in the comments what you think of this house. If you're coming to Cape Coral and you'd like me to show you around, just reach out. You can text or call me. I can also send you a packet that shows you all the top spots to come in the area and visit. And I can send you a boater's guide map showing you all the bridge heights and travel times. Thanks for watching. Bye now.